Hello all my YouTube fans, how are you today? Well, thank you for tuning in today's vlog. If you're wondering what I'm doing today, I'm going to show you how to connect your iPod Touch 5th Generation to this small uh, scroll Rubik's Cube here with the mini portable speaker. And you can use it both ways, uh, Bluetooth wireless technology or also a wild technology as well, you know, the old analog kind of stuff. That's the standard uh, jack here to connect from here to that. Let's bring up the little unit where you can actually take a close look. Down below here is a tiny microphone, a symbol for Bluetooth. The speaker is in here, pretty cool, around the whole unit. We have your micro mini uh, power, phone call, uh, pause and play, headphone uh, jack here for that, a land order if you want to carry it around around your wrist strap, and also your on and off uh, switch. Now this does have a battery inside of here as well to actually charge itself. Now first thing I'm going to do so I'm going to show you with this cord what you can do. Now this is a little bit better this way. Uh, you can use either or uh, wireless or Bluetooth technology if you truly want to save battery. I would choose to plug it in directly this way. Means I can conserve a little bit of power on heel and some power on heel. But you're still wanting the batteries on both devices. Of course, when you turn this on, notice the light comes on, but it's not going to activate the Bluetooth uh, function because it's actual hardwired. You can only use it one or the other one. You can't use it both ways. But we towed the iPad on, and it sounds Pretty decent. I was playing my favorite song like this. Works oh, pretty good. I help. Uh oh. Batteries are dying. I had to change the batteries on my camera. The batteries are kind of dead, but I'm good to go. But yeah, this is a pretty uh, nice setup here. Uh, with the wild as well. Now I'm going to show you how to connect it by the actual Bluetooth function from your iPod to this little unit. First of all, I'm going to turn it off here. Unplug your jacks here from your iPod and also from that unit. Now if you have a survival case like I do here, the cable might stick a bit. But that's okay. Put that off the door. If you're wondering what I was listening to, here is one of my favorite uh, artists here. It's called Shale. Pretty cool. Now, get out of there. Go into your settings here. Alright, now you can see I'm already in Bluetooth. Go here. Turn Bluetooth on. Now you can see I don't have a whole lot of Bluetooth uh, connected to it. But now I'm going to show you how to pair this with this device. Again, you just slide the switch. Turn it on. Now it's going to connect to my iPod. Takes a little while to find it. But there she is. Now you can play this uh, with Bluetooth technology. Hopefully it should connect perfectly fine. It does. Back to the same artist. And let's see. Now we no longer have the wire. Means these two devices are now wireless. Let's see if it's going to play. But first I'm going to turn the uh, sound down a bit. Turn back time. If I could find a way. That 
it does look perfectly fine uh, with Bluetooth. You can also use uh, your music, videos, or whatever type of content you have on your iPod, and you can listen it to the Bluetooth uh, technology as well. Alright, if you guys have joined me on this channel, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, please like, we share, all. peace out, bye guys and girls, well, please see you in the next vlog. Peace out, from your boy Chris. Have fun connecting the iPod to Bluetooth speakers.